Art Experiment 2, Continuing My Experiments with Old Sticky Journal Pages. In this video, I review the results of Collage Podge over a failed decoupage page, and it turned out to be another big fail. And then I used only Collage Podge as a sealer on an art journal page and test that. Then I test out some beeswax on another page and repaired the failed page. Hi. This afternoon I am going to test the results of my collage page over a page that was done with decoupage that did not work it all stuck together with this so I went over that with my collage page and then I also did another page just with collage page now that was the day before yesterday and this art journal has been sitting underneath of this stack of heavy books for all this time so which would probably be what happens in real life. So let me take these books off. I'm just kind of throwing them down on the floor here beside my chair. And let's see what happens. Now the Clash Podge page is just on the other side of my barn page. And this is the page that was done with wax. And then the page here and I can tell you that it is sticking together real good it's it's very much stuck together very much stuck together in fact I'm disappointed <laughs> but let me tell you it was done with decoupage first and then I went over it with collage podge so I don't know if it's the collage podge or the decoupage but this absolutely positively is not working at all I'm having to, this is probably the worst that it's ever been of any of my trials. Look at how I'm having to pry this apart and it's tearing the pages apart. This is bad. But this is why I'm doing these experiments to test this out. Boy, I'll tell you, it's really stuck together. Let me see if I can get my ruler in there and pry it apart. I'll have to redo on this page. This is really, really stuck together. Oh dear. Look at it. It's tearing a nice hole in my background page. Look at this look at you can even see where it's sticking uh, it's sticking to the opposite side of the page man this is bad I would never use decoupage there we go well if that's how you want your art journal to look after you've closed it up and have it stored away in some boxes use decoupage now <laughs> I'm not hitting this as far as being a something to collage with. This, but this sells it as a sealer glue finish. Putting the decoupage on, which is also sold as a water resistant glue sealer finish. So those two products really did damage to these to this page. Now in an art journal, nothing is catastrophic. Uh, I'll go back in and work on this page. Well, look, I can peel this off. Where did this go? It went up in here somehow. But I'll just I'll I'll do more work on this page. But this is a definite fail. Fail, fail, fail. This over this collage podge over decoupage is a fail. I think I said I'd go back in and work on it and I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do so I'm just gonna leave it like that now the other page that I worked on 
is, is just a, is right here. And this was done with only collage podge. And it does not have the same disastrous effect, but I can still feel it sticking together. So, I attribute this fail to decoupage. This, although it did not tear apart like that other page did, I could still feel it sticking together. So while I don't give it a, an A+, plus, I don't give it an F either. You'll still have to, if you're in a humid environment, and believe me, it is humid this week here. I finally turned my air conditioning on this afternoon. I think I'm going to have to leave it on for a couple days. So, I'm back to, I would probably give this a B, as long as I have the privilege of handing out my letter grades. Of course, the acetate was obviously an A, because there's nothing, you know, there's nothing, and in fact, this, this I'm giving a, a C just because it, it it has some stickiness but it does not work on everything i use that on my nightmare page my wax says i'm giving a b plus because i like what it does i've had the least trouble with waxing pages no problem at all with waxing pages and this is not a pure wax this is a paraffin wax this is a floater this is a melt. They call them melts. Uh, they have little hot pots that they eat and it melts and puts out a nice aroma. I have no trouble with this. Um, like here again, I'm saying it's probably not a, it, well, I know it's not a pure wax, beeswax, it's a paraffin candle. So I would give that a B plus. And the only reason I'm giving it a B plus is once you've applied it to your page, you cannot write over it. You'll ruin your felt tip pens or and your ballpoint pens. Now see, this is still sticking together here. Um, you want to do all your pages on waxed paper, you won't have any problems. So I have to decide what I want to do next. I'm very disappointed. Very, very disappointed with this but it doesn't surprise me it doesn't surprise me it, it's it was done with a decoupage something that was meant to collage with not to varnish even though it does it does sell itself as a sealer blue finish but probably not in the case that you're closing pages up on each other this I'm a little disappointed because I would have expected it to now I gotta find my page here. I would have expected this page to not have any stickiness. But I did have to it it did not tear like my other page did, but yet it had a little pull to it. So it's I guess I would probably give it a B. I graded it before. I forgot what I graded it. Let's start writing some of this down so I don't forget. Here. Okay, so my first test was with, um, on the Nightmare page, was with Krylon, Archival, Spray, and I'm going to put Matte number one three seven eight and uh, the disadvantage with that was it did not I'm gonna say seal over enamel paint and on a one to five with uh, one being low, five being highest. I'm going to give it a 
it seals but it doesn't seal over I'm still gonna give it a 2.5 okay that's just my own rating you can do your own test and rate them the way you want to <laughs> okay so then I tried decoupage on the police line I should probably put nightmare page here I'll copy this better okay then on the police line I did decoupage and it it was poor it it pages still stuck I'm gonna put pages stuck and although they did not tear like the other one did I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a 2.5 well maybe even lower maybe a 2 because it did worse than the archival did then I did a wax paraffin I don't know if that's how you spell paraffin on my barn quilt and over the police line and it no sticking I'm pleased with that but I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a three point I'll say three because you cannot write over it this it would ruin pins like this to write over it um, then I tried my decoupage on my um, sewing background and they stuck paper stuck didn't have much too much luck I'll just give it the same two as on the on the police line and so then I tried my uh, collage podge over the sewing background and this was probably collage podge plus decoupage and I don't blame the collage podge on this this was a this was a <laughs> minus one pages tore and I think maybe it was maybe I had too heavy of a coat on there maybe it was just too thick it was just too much it didn't help at all so then I tried the collage podge just on uh, I'm gonna say a pattern tissue background and I'm gonna give that a 2.5 because like the archival spray although it did not I did not have any enamel on there there was some light sticking and you have to remember it is very humid here very very humid here and um, let's see I am going to do oh I had my acetate sheet and page protectors What did I give it a two oh two five? I'm gonna put rate this a little bit higher. I'm gonna rate it a three point three again. Um for collage podge because there's some light sticking. My acetate, there's really no disadvantage. That's a hard media, what I call a hard media. I'm gonna give it a four. It's just not quite a five because you have that extra sheet extra sheet in between your journal pages and 
that's really a it's a solution but it's not the most ideal solution Let me put my four over here so we're still looking for a good solution I like the collage podge so far but I'm not sure that is our solution what I'm going to do this afternoon took this out of the way and uh, let's see remember this other page I had back here I said I knew what it was but I didn't want to show it to you right away see it is sticking this page I have done nothing to it and I am just going to if I can gently pull it apart this page has not been seen the light of day since probably mid 2000 and well, maybe late 2012, early 2013. But it is definitely sticking together. Just the elements on this page are pulling off. And the reason being, see there's some sticking going on in here. Okay, there it goes. <sighs> oh, I think maybe in 2013 I scanned it or took a picture of this side of the page for one of my groups. So sometime in 2013, I had this page open. But the reason it's sticking is I have glitter glue here on this page. This says silent praise written, and then I have a star, and that's all done in silver glitter glue. This is a picture of a Lutheran church. We've got some glare going on here. It's a photograph of a Lutheran church that I attended when I was a young lady high school age so but what I'm going to do and then this is uh, probably appropriate for this time of year coming up I do not do darkness pages I'm not into the dark and the Halloween and the dark side of life I figure if I can live in the light <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> but that's all another stop topic I, I wanted to do something to go along with that theme that everybody else is doing but I didn't want to dwell on the darkness so I pulled a, a print I was doing some image transfers and this is just a computer printout of I believe that's a Dover free print of a young lady and a little boy in here and I clodged it down and I did some stenciling ABC's and I painted some this is just craft painting here peekaboo and and I I uh, say I caught them playing peekaboo across the pages of time. That's my quote. And I have a tag here with some clocks, and I have a butterfly there, and a piece of cloth paint uh, fabric. So, and then down here, I just have one of these. This is a scrapbooking strip. Uh, let's see. It says, "Sibling, children of the same parents," and I ink that out. I don't know what that says, but I'm pretty sure that it's sticking because of this. Well, what I'm going to try today is very similar, and I expect to get similar results to the paraffin wax. I went to the store. I had some of this, but whenever you have it, you know, it's packed away. And I bought some beeswax for quilting. And this is pure beeswax. Let's open it up here. It's a, it's a smaller, it's a smaller piece by far. I think I paid about four dollars for this so it's, it wasn't really exactly cheap I got this for 29 cents so but I wanted to try pure wax on it and see if and then I'm gonna have to try my and I should probably be waxing this I'm gonna wax right over my glitter here Now, I do not feel the same when I waxed with this. I can real, really feel it. And in fact, when I go like this, I can feel the paraffin on my hands. On this, it's not as, I don't want to say it's not as pliable, but I do not feel it as much. I wonder if I have to rub harder to get. And I'm concerned about it taking away the shine off of my glitter. And I really do think it will if I rub too hard on it. But maybe not. Let's see. Let's 
that butterfly really stuck on to this, this part of the page. And I'm not expecting to write on this anymore. I'm pretty much done with it. Now I'm also going to, I just don't feel this, I don't feel it as, as much as I do this other candle, I mean this other wax melt. And I'm really truthfully wondering if the results will be as, now I'm not going to wax over the photograph, I don't want to get my photograph all waxy. I'm just going to wax over primarily the glitter glue. And I think it takes a little of the initial shine away, but I'm thinking that after I hit it with the heat gun, that that'll come back. I'm hoping. Now let's put some wax on this butterfly and around these pages here. Let's get in here. It's almost too, in my opinion, unless you can find beeswax for cheaper. 425 and that's really kind of too expensive in my opinion for an art journal for what I'm using it for and I'm going to go across this because it's a photocopy and look it's I'm using it all right but I'm not happy with the expense of it I guess you could say as compared to the other candle, paraffin candle. But I bought it to try out different techniques on my pages. Okay, let's, I do feel it sort of. Let's hit it with the heat gun. Now, the people who told me to use wax just recommended getting a white candle. Oh, wow. I can really, I hit that with a heat gun and I went to wipe it and I can feel that right on my finger. So it's there. Let's try it across this. Yeah. See, I can see. When I hit this star with the heat gun, that shine came back to the glitter glue. I'm happy about that, because I didn't want my shine to go away. And I can see it on the page here. I can see the shininess of the wax. So I'm, I'm happy with that, so it didn't ruin the shine on my page. And I can, I can definitely see it. I don't know if you can see it. I guess I should pull my heat gun away a little. But I, and I could feel it as I went like this. I can't rub it like I did the paraffin because it comes off on my hand as wax. I don't know if I would go with the beeswax anyway buying it, buying it like this. Now I think they have a big chunk of beeswax that was sold for candle making. I'm going to have to look at it and see how much pure beeswax it is. I don't know how pure. I haven't taken it out of the pa packet yet, but it's a big old brick of it. So if I end up going with my wax, which is really probably the most successful to date. It's just a... Now, it does feel very waxy. Okay, we're going to see what happens here. I pretty well have warmed everything up here. And I don't know if you can see it, but I can see where the heat is 
noting the wax on these pages. All right. So, that's going to be my experiment for today. Let's just kind of, I want to, I'm just going to close this up on itself because it's wet. So, even when I have it, I'm going back to my sewing page that I was so disappointed with. Huh. Not this one. What should I do to this one? This still had that, and I don't want to put any more collage podge on it because I'm afraid it's going to end up like this disaster. But there, remember, there's no disaster in art journaling. Okay, so I decided to go in and fix my sewing page that was just destroyed by using collage podge over decoupage. So I spray with some Dilutions yellow and um, orange on that page and as I'm spraying I noticed that it's kind of resisting the decoupage is kind of resisting in those torn spots there but that's okay because I have the sheet of handwritten drapery instructions that I'm going to put over it and I have an old ladies home journal 1893 that I've been using for my art journaling and I tear some ads out of there and I'm starting to arrange them on the page. I also have some pattern tissue paper that I'm going to collage back onto this page. I'm trying to get it back into order. I look at that lace and another piece of lace and I decide no that is uh, I don't put those on the page. Here I'm just collaging down those handwritten how to make draperies. I got that at a flea market. So that's very much vintage sewing. Um, here I'm just collaging down the ads from the back of that 1893 Ladies Home Journal. And my tissue paper. I'm collaging all of that down. So the page, like I said, there's no disaster in art journaling. Everything's repairable if you don't give up on it. <laughs> in fact, I kind of like those spots where the paper was torn from them they add some texture to the page so to review the decoupage was a fail as a sealer between two journal pages collage podge over the decoupage just it was probably so thick it made it worse. It was a complete fail. Then on the page, this page, which was only the only collage podge, wasn't a complete fail, but I could, I did have some stickiness. And here again, the book was closed upon itself for probably close to 48 hours and it was weighted down with heavy heavy weight so so far the only successful thing I've seen is the wax and probably the beeswax which I think is probably too expensive for what I want I like these melts or probably even just plain candle wax but be sure that you're not that you're completely finished with your page so, in my mind, I really haven't found a good sealer yet. I'm going to try. I did, I'm going to try the clear coat acrylic sealer. I'm going to try that. I have to take it outside. I found this royal coat. This is decoupage, high gloss finish. I, I don't trust that at all, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the glazing medium. I have both Liquitex and Deco Arts glazing medium. And I'm going to try the Maj Podge. So over here, we just, we waxed with the beeswax on here. So those are my experiments to date. I'm going to let these pages dry again and close up the book for another 24 hours. And this may seem like a boring test, but it's proven to me that there really is not, so far I have not found 
a good product that will seal art journal pages to close upon themselves. And look what I have here. Well, these these I haven't tried yet. So far, the, the wax has been the only successful. Well, this is semi-successful. Decoupage is a complete fail. This is a partial fail. Still have the sticking on the enamel. That's it for today. And uh, I'm not done with this testing yet. And I still got some more sticky pages. I don't know where they are right now. <laughs> Here's where I put the acetate between these two pages. And I, this was closed up for the same 48 hours and no problem at all. I had problems with those sticking before. So I'm happy with that. We'll see you in the next segment. Thank you for watching.